Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Lawnmower Simulator. Today we're going to continue with Kiss My Grass. We currently have a net worth of 153 gra- What? I've mown three lawns. <laughs> <laughs> How have they worked that out? Anyway, so this is our current team. We have Mr. Lawn Barber, a raring to go as you can see. And his steed of choice is the Black Beauty. A rear wheel drive mulcher with a 98 centimeter deck size. And um, we're going to do some maintenance. We are going to fit it up with fuel. How much does that cost? £2.97. Why is that so cheap? <laughs> <laughs> oh, because it's only a five litre fuel tank. That's not a lot. That's like a gallon for you Americans. Uh, we can repair our blades for a fiver. So we'll do that, I think. Repair the engine for £3.63. And repair the actual vehicle for 15 quid. So I don't know what that involves. Probably just sticking some duct tape to it. Anyway, we're now in the map view looking over the gorgeous British countryside. Uh, we're going to head to Millerbrook. So they just want a general cut. Hang on, hang on. Recommended time 40 minutes. I don't have 40 minutes to cut a virtual lawn. <laughs> uh, let me just go back a sec. Are they all like that? 32 minutes. 35. Oh, God. Oh, well, this is going to be painful. So come on, lawn barber. You are involved and you're on the black beauty. So six centimeters cutting height. We're aiming for 99.5% of the lawn cut and then they'll be happy. Oh, it looks like if I can hire some more employees. Yeah, this is like, it's almost like a day. So I've assigned one contract. I could then assign the other two, I think, and then stop. Yeah, so at the moment, we've only got one employee and that's ourselves. So we can't do more than one lawn at once. So we're just going to start. Oh, look at the birds. Look at the birds. Yeah, anyway, here we are. Hello, I'm a gardener. Bye. Uh, so yeah, another, another thatch cottage. I'm seeing a trend here. Uh, we've got four minutes left. Oh, wow, look at all these flowers. And a little patio area with an umbrella and chairs and all sorts. This is lovely, not gonna lie. Oh, and a well, they've got a well. Whoa, cool, right. Okay, so we've got three minutes, 30 remaining. I've I've been wasting time. Uh, we've got to wander around and pick up any items like these. Again, not sure what these are. Pretty sure they're just rocks. Uh, there's also a shiny plastic stick, a toy car, a Cumberland sausage. Oh, that, that's everything. We, we've done it. We picked up everything. I felt like I was in one of those game shows where the prize comes along, like the conveyor belt, like... On the conveyor belt tonight, we have a case of champagne, a sewing machine... And a cuddly bear. Uh, how do I get my mower down? Am I meant to drive down this path? This seems a bit risky. But why are there, like, business women walking past? We're literally in the middle of nowhere. But uh, let's get in our mower. We'll start her up. Turn the old throttle up. There she goes. And now we're good to drive. So straight down the trailer. And then looks like we're driving down the path. Let's hope we don't hit anything. <laughs> Thankfully, our mower's not too wide. So beautiful. Right, I'm going to lower the cutting height to six centimeters. Press Q to lower the blades and then Z to engage them. Yes. And just like that, we're on our way. A brand new lawn. So I'm going to be sticking with the contouring technique. Of literally just going around the edge and then slowly coming in. Because we can't make stripes, as we found out last time. We need to save up for a new mower, uh, which has a tiger stripe attachment. I think it's like a roller that goes on the back. But uh, this is this is quite a tricky little garden, actually. It's pretty windy. Oh, Matt, it's actually huge. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> oh, dear. But we finished our first lap, so we, we'll just keep going with this technique and see where we get to. I'm trying to keep my front sort of wheel. Can you see that little wheel down there? Just overlapping. Because as you can imagine, the, the more we overlap, that's going to add up. And we're going to have to do like more stripes by the end of it. So we want as wide a stripes as possible. We should be good. I feel like we're going to finish some like areas of the lawn first. This is like quite a circular part of the lawn. Oh look, it's a bit, it's a bit long down there. We sort of overheated our engine. We strained it a bit. So this bar on the bottom right, that's sort of how, how the engine's coping. So right now, doing good. If it goes up to above the red little arrow down there, that means it's struggling. And it won't actually cut the lawn. It will leave the grass a bit long underneath. Yeah, so you have two choices to counteract that. You either go back and you go over it again, or you can just slow down. Now, the controls on this makes it quite hard to slow down. Uh, it's just Wazda to go. So quite hard to half press a W key on a keyboard. Uh, but I've just seen... <laughs> And I might actually invest money in this. Just because this is a really satisfying game. I want to play more of it. They've just added loads of steering wheel support. Now, I'll probably be the first person in the world just to buy a steering wheel to play lawnmower simulating games. All right, I'm actually going to, before we go too far, I'm going to cut this end off. Can you see it's a bit of a point? So hopefully doing that will allow us 
to just do a simple turn there next time. A bit like this corner. Just a nice turn like that. Not too sharp. And again, this one's probably going to need the same treatment, actually. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll ignore that, and then we'll come back the second lap. All right, so we're back on our second lap, so you should be able to see now. We should just be able to cut that corner and then keep our cut going. Yes, nice and efficient. And we're actually making our way, we're actually chomping through the lawn. We're a third of the way through, only seven minutes in. So that 40-minute prediction, we are always going to smash that. We're on the Black Beauty. Do not underestimate me, game. Do not underestimate the power of Kiss My Grass and Lawn Barber at the helm of the Black Beauty. And now you can see we're on this corner again, and it's nice and easy just to stay cutting the whole time. We don't want to be running over grass that's already been cut. Because essentially, you're just you're just wasting time. If you can cut constantly, you will go far in this world. That's the slogan for Kiss My Grass. <laughs> All right, this is getting a bit tricky, though. We're getting a bit, a bit small. So we're going to have to do a bit of that, I think. You got to turn not too fast because you will churn up the lawn. So you want to be nice and gentle on the turns. Just just like that. Just ease the throttle. And then we're good. We can cut all of this. There we are. Lovely. Now I'm gonna go I'm gonna go round the flower bed. Nice. And then we'll carry on this way. Alright, now it's getting a bit tricky to stay efficient because we have to turn around. We've run out of grass to cut. And we have to head back. Alright, last little tufts of this lawn now. I'm hoping one straight back should do all of that. First, we just got to clean up these bits and get an action angle. Look at this. Yes. Go on, lawn boy. All right, here he comes into the long grass. Yes. Look at that slow motion. Oh. <laughs> All right, so now just this little strip. Lovely, and this side is done. I'm going to be a bit more cautious with my blades now. I'm actually going to lift up my blades just across the path. And then we're going to plonk them down here. Back down, blades on, and we're off again. Now, this side looks a bit tricky. Oh, God, I just destroyed a flower. I told you it was tricky. Oh, God, there's another... <laughs> Lawn, what are you doing? I gotta go through the bush on this one. Sorry, Lawn. Well, actually, the bush went through you, technically. Uh, but we're just gonna do like a spiral cut around here. Uh, it looks like the actual patio is a bit of an octagon, but hopefully, overlapping that brick won't mess with our blades too much. So, keep an eye on my blade health down the bottom left. See, so, yeah, I don't think the brick did too much, thankfully. Oh, God. Some of these lawns are really weirdly shaped. All right, mind the bollard, mind the bollard. And then mind the path. Oh, I hit the bollard and went over the path. All right, so I've noticed around the well, we've got a really high-numbered shape here. Shall we go around and count the number of sides? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six. I can't remember where I started. <laughs> I'm going to guess it's a 16-sided shape, which would make it a... Hello, Google. What is a 16-sided shape called? According to Wikipedia... In mathematics, a hexadecagon is a 16-sided polygon. Ooh, so it's a hexadecagon. All right, so I thought we'd go a bit of a bit of left sidage, go in the clockwise direction, just change it up a bit. And that just involves keeping an eye on my left side rather than the white. I noticed I've left a few straggly bits when I was going around this hexadecagon. Yeah, but we're nearly there, 93%. I think we're aiming for 99.5. So we'll do this little teardrop. This should just be two runs, one down here and one back. Lovely. Uh, we've just got this really long line to do. Look how long it is. <laughs> but we are nearly there. See, I told you, this garden full of weird shapes. Weird and wonderful shapes. All right, I'm going to do something quite horrible now. Ow. <laughs> Ow. It's just a lawn. It's just a lawn. Uh, but we are very, very close. We're at 99.3. We've only got to get 99.5. All right, ready? This little tuft. Oh, we're still not done. You're teasing me, game. You're teasing me. Oh, I just damaged the ground. Oh, can you see that? I turned too quickly. Oh, we're doing so well. Yeah, but we've completed the contract, so you can kiss my grass. I am not carrying on and wasting any more time we're going back onto the trailer. So we'll just drive up here. Sorted. And look at that lawn. That looks good, if you ignore that bit over there. Oh, look at this area. This is lovely. A couple of beers on the bench. Yes, decent garden, that. Uh, so we made £608. Pretty good. Our total is now £2,000. So let's accept everything. See what we rank up to. We're now newcomer rank 5. We're nearly a credible rank. Uh, there's now an upgrade button unlocked. I'm not sure what that unlocks. I'm going to click it. Are you sure you want to upgrade Redwall Building? This will take 7 days cost... Oh, and it allows for an extra bay. Ooh, I feel like I want to do that because then we can invest in a new mower and potentially another staff member. 
I don't know how this works, but I think that will allow us to cut two lawns at once. Not two lawns, two lawns. So yeah, we'll do that. And then we're going to head into the loan menu and we're going to apply for a loan. Oh no, we can only get two and a half grand. I don't even think we want two and a half grand. Look how much we have to pay back. Yeah, that's not worth it. That is not worth it. Oh, but this is the mower I'm aiming for. The Skag Patriot 52 inch. And not only is it super quick at eight and a half miles per hour, the fuel tank is huge at just under 30 liters. It's got a massive deck. <laughs> deck yeah, but the main reason is this the tiger stripe kit we can actually make stripes with this mower i don't think any other ones allow for that oh yeah they do both the skag so that skag does and so does this one. Oh, whoa this is like the bigger brother oh now she has tiger stripes as well i literally tiger stripes but yeah if we were to start on the list one we need eight grand so that's a way off yet yeah? yeah, but we're going to move on to another lawn we could go back to the old nook cottage and this time mow their paddock rather than the main lawn could be an interesting one yeah, the Davies Garden, we've already mown there, but it looks like they've changed their golden gnome for an at symbol. Maybe they've gone into the internet business. I feel like this was actually quite a quick hit, so I'm, I'm going to fly through this one. It's a load of money, 790 quid, and a lot of RP. Oh, the fines are high, though, so we've got to be got to be careful. Whoa, look at this. Okay, that is a hell of a sculpture, that. <laughs> I love... They've actually moved the trailer, they're like... Oh, it's a different garden. It's a different garden. Oh, no, look. If you look in there, you can see the grass has actually grown back already. Now, I was going to say, they've actually pointed our trailer far away from their car. If you remember last time, we accidentally dented their very posh sports car. Uh, so this is a different lawn. So let's pick up some stuff. Rocks. More rocks. A ball. Another ball. It's all just rocks and balls on this place. What's going on? Giant spoon. Black and white nudie mags. And there's one object eluding me. I don't know where it is. There it is. It's another purple ball. Right, but now we're ready to get on our lawnmower. I am slightly distracted by the world's stillest water, though. Look at that. <laughs> maybe it's cold and it's iced over, maybe. That is so still, though. Anyway, we're all set up. We'll get off our trailer, head to the lawn. Oh, sorry. Adjust rear defenders, and we're ready to do the most impressive thing in this game. Boosh. All right, with our blades on, we're good to go. By the way, if you are ever mowing a lawn in real life, and you've got a mower like this, a rotary one, that's where the blades spin, like horizontal in a circle a cylinder mower is the other type where the blades are literally in a cylinder shape but yeah if you if you are ever law mowing in real life and you don't want to cock it up uh, make sure you don't stop like if you just keep the mower cutting like in the same place without moving you're going to create some horrible dark spots like all the grass is going to get destroyed and you're just going to have like a brown circle patch a uh, great for if you do actually want to graffiti certain shapes into the lawn but uh, generally i wouldn't recommend oh god <laughs> The hedge is quite dense there. It's not as forgiving as I thought it would be. Uh, but we finally completed our first lap. That took quite a long time. Three minutes. Oh, God. <laughs> this lawn could take a while. This was meant to be a lot quicker than the last one. The last one's meant to be 40 minutes. I think this was like 35, it recommended. Yeah, so we have to see how we get on. I didn't actually see how long the last lawn took, actually. I probably should have paid attention to that. But I can see I've been recording for 50 minutes. So... <laughs> So yeah, I probably spent longer than I thought. Again, it's all about being efficient, trying to get your overlaps as small as possible. So you really want to be right on that limit. You don't want to leave a stripey tuft. Nothing worse than a stripey tuft, but you don't want to overlap too much because then you're just wasting your own time. And fuel, of course. We're trying to make a profit here. We don't want to waste fuel. But we're getting there. We're making progress. We're on our third lap now. And it is just so... I don't know why. It's just so satisfying, this game. I think the grass just looks so much better when it is cut as well. They really nailed down, like, the look. Like, the long grass looks amazing, just, like, graphics-wise. But in, a, in terms of, like, actually making the lawns look neat. Yeah, the cut lawn look. It's a good look. It's a good look for a lawn. Right, so we've just hit 25% cut. We're on 8 minutes 30. So it looks like we're sort of aiming for just under 40 minutes to do this lawn. <laughs> Oh, that's going to take so long. Mind the bench, Matt. Oh, I left a horrible strip there. But yeah, I, I literally cannot get over just how satisfying this is. Like, I don't even mind. Usually, I'm like 40 minutes to do one level. But a bit like Power Wash, there's just something about it. You don't mind. You just want to see the finished article. And the main reason is I just want to get to that stripey mower. I really want to do stripes. Mainly just so I can make loads of Tigger references. <laughs> right, pretty impressed with this edge, though. I've done it pretty straight. If we were striping, I'd be fairly pleased with myself. Right, so this side we're gonna we're gonna go around the bench, trying not to hit it. Oh, that was close. That was close. Right, we're a third of the way through actually. 
and we're on 10 minutes. So actually, it looks like we could do this in 30 minutes. Uh, quite an improvement on 40 minutes. So I'll take that. <laughs> thank you, game. Well, not thank you, game. This is all me. I'm doing this. I'm doing it efficiently. I've earned that extra 10 minutes. It's also possible that my maths was just way off and it was 30 minutes all along. But I'm going to go with I'm just being super efficient. All right, we're starting to get to the Teletubby area. This is like where it's a little bit lumpy around these trees. You can see already it's starting to affect my stripes down this end, my straight edge. All right, this could slow us down this end of the bench. I'm gonna... Oh, God. Okay, did not mean to do that. I was trying to get as close as possible. There you go, we did that. Usually... Like in real life, you'd probably just mow around that with an actual lawnmower, like a push along one. You tend to just use the big ride ons like these just to do like the main bulk. And then you come back and do all the little scraggly bits. Uh, we don't have that option in this game. This is our only mower. Thankfully, it's an absolute beast. A black beauty. But yeah, this telly tubby bit, a little bit annoying. Our stripes are all over the place down this end. Right, waste a bit of time there. That was not a good turn. I feel like this is a bit like racing, like F1 or something. You're like trying to get the best lap time ever. Mustn't make a mistake. That's it. Clip the apex. Clip the apex. <laughs> right. Break last minute and turn. Apex to apex. Love it. Through the chicane. Uh, I'm losing my marbles. I am losing my marbles. All right. Let's get around this tree. I'm doing a bit of an egg egg maneuver. I like to call it. Yeah, just because I don't, I don't have the turning circle to get this fully. I'm trying not to waste any potential cutting times. Oh god, now I'm going back this way. How did this happen? <laughs> I got confused. I'm like a learner driver on a roundabout. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. And there we go. That tree's done as well. So we'll head back this way. Finish off that little stripe we missed. Nice. And then may as well go around this tree. Why not? Why not, Matt? I feel like that has reduced the time, though. I sort of wasted a lot of time doing that. Maybe it would have been better just doing, like, that side and then that side. And then coming back and doing the stripes, like, as I was doing. Rather than going around the entire lot. Yeah, I feel like I wasted time there. Let's hope we can still get sub 30 minutes. That's what I'm aiming for. Yeah, because I feel like now there's no point doing that circle. So I'm just going over stuff that I could be mowing for the first time, not the second time. Poor strategy there, Matt. Poor strategy. Uh, but look at the time. Two thirds of the way through and we're just under 20 minutes. So it is possible. We can actually do this. Just got to believe. Right, people watching this video, I want to hear your grass puns. Give me your best grass pun that you've got. Or lawn mowing pun, that sort of thing. Give them to me in the comments. Like, I do I do love a good pun. So I feel like it would be quite punny to see all the best puns. Sorry, that was, that was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're going left edge for a bit, just to mix and match. I haven't just mirrored the screen, don't worry. Although if I did, it would probably look identical to the rest of the video. <laughs> <laughs> and if anyone is still watching the video, I'm going to guess that you did not expect you'd have watched however long this video is at this point of a 32-year-old man cutting virtual grass in a video game. Uh, but if you are still watching and you are actually enjoying this series, boost that like button. Uh, you would not believe how much it actually helps the old algorithm. But not only that, it lets me know that you guys are enjoying the series so that I can continue the adventures of Lawn Barber and his first ever job at Kiss My Grass. Maybe he will go on to become a civil engineer slash YouTuber like myself. Uh, quite an unusual career path, I think. Lawn mowing, civil engineering, to YouTubing, back to lawn mowing. <laughs> Yeah, but we are very close now. We've got to go around this sculpture, which it looks... It's got to be some, like, internet business, surely. So you've got, like, a hashtag there, and it's the at symbol when you're looking at this direction. So I'm guessing they made their fortunes in the old internet business. Uh, hence, they can afford me to mow their lawn. And they're, they're paying me a pretty penny as well. What was it? Like, 700 and something quid just to mow this? Crazy. I'm going to do... I'm going to do the edges, and then of this very still pond... And another strike. We are so close. We're on like 92%. 27 minutes, so it's going to be a proper struggle to get under 30, I think. Because this is getting all a bit finicky now. Oh, look how far I'm driving. I'm not cutting anything. That percentage isn't going down. Poor strategy, Matt. Poor strategy. All right, last little stripe around here. Nothing around the back. We've got this bit. We're on 95%. We are getting so close. All right, let's cut down and do the edge of this. All right, now quickly turn around. We've only got a minute left. Oh, no, I don't think we're going to do it. By the way, it's not actually a challenge. It's just like a self-imposed. A self-imposed. I didn't want to spend over half an hour <laughs> mowing a virtual lawn. All right, we'll do these. We're going to have to turn around, do this bit. 
Let's go straight through here. I'm just going to do as much area as I can. <laughs> it's weird circles. 98%. I don't know what we're aiming for. I'm guessing 99 probably. Or maybe 0.5 if they're picky. They do look picky. They got a nice house. 10 seconds. We haven't done it. I don't think we've done it. Oh, we've just... Just over 30 minutes. Oh, we are nearly... This is getting really satisfying in the end as well. <laughs> like, I don't even mind that it's taken this long because I'm like, look, the lawn's nearly done. We've actually done it. Is 99.5. Is that going to be finished? Yes, we're finished. Blades up. Get the hell out of here. I don't even care that I've left those. I don't even care. All right, reverse onto the trailer. No, I'm going to drive this way. Screw you. And we're done. Just a little tough there. It's not too bad. Look at that water though. It's still so still. Oh no, you can you can really see the bits I missed there. Can we get an angle where we don't look at them? Especially not that angle. Cheers, game. But yes, we got 794 quid. Nearly 800 pounds for that. Yeah, and we finished our first week. Uh, we made a loss of 1700 quid. <laughs> oh god. Uh, but I think that is because we invested in a building upgrade for 1500 And to be fair, yeah. Oh, actually, so if you look at it, our vehicle purchase, 2650 Our revenue, 602030 So technically, without that building thing, we pretty much made a 20 quid loss. Or we bought a lawnmower for 20 quid. Yeah, and we are now credible as well. Kiss my grass knows what they're doing. <gasps> we have an applicant! Who is this? Elliot Ross. He loves to party like it's 1999. Was born ready, hates when slugs eat their cabbages, and is part of the royal family. What? A royal? Uh, well, we are hiring you. He's an apprentice, but we are hiring you. You are in. I will teach you the ways. We have an employee. Now, we don't have a mower for him, though, so I'm pretty sure we're going to have to wait till our building upgrades. But look, we've got a team. Lorne and Elliot. Look at them just raring to go in their uniform. I am getting well into this. Right, guys, we're going to leave that there for today. Now, I hope you're enjoying the series as much as I am. Who'd have thought lawn mowing in a video game would be this satisfying? Anyway, peace, love, and black beauties. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.